Welcome to AYS Math Channel. In this video, I will be solving question number 10 from paper May 2023 at Excel IAL Pure Mathematics P1. We will go through the problem step by step, ensuring you understand the concepts and techniques needed to tackle similar questions. Question 10 is uh, uh, we have a figure 5 here. Figure 5 shows a sketch of the quadratic curve. C with equation y equals 2 minus 1 over 4 into x plus 2 into x minus b, where b is a positive constant. All right. And the line L1 also shown in figure 5. So this is L1. Here it is. So this is L1. Uh, and it has gradient 1 over 2 intersect C on the negative axis. So L1 intersects C on the negative axis and at the point P. Okay, write down an equation for L1. So uh, gradient is 1 over 2. So um, the curve C with the equation. Okay, look at the, the equation of a curve. Minus 1 over 4x plus 2 x minus b. So x plus 2 x minus b, it means the x intercept here is negative 2. So this is minus 2. And uh, here, where the curve intersect x axis at b. So this point is b. All right. Uh, equation for L1 gradient is given. And uh, L1 intersects uh, curve at uh, minus 2. So I can use these values minus 2 and 0, right? So I can use the coordinate here, minus 2 and 0. Okay, let's form an equation now. Right. So uh, we know that the equation of a straight line is y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. So y minus y1 is 0. Um, gradient is 1 over 2. x minus x1 is negative 2, so negative 2. So this will be positive. So re rewrite it x plus 2. OK. So y equals to 1 over 2 into x plus 2 is the equation of L1. So mm -hmm. label it L1. OK. So A part uh, A, first part is done. Now let's move on to the second part. Find in terms of B, the coordinate of P. In terms of B, the coordinate of P. So P, we know that the P is a point where L1 intersects a curve. Right? So equation of, so we can find the point of intersection here. So equation of a curve is... Uh, this is the equation of a curve. And equation of L1, we just got it here. This one. We can find the point of intersection by equating it. So 1 over 2 into x plus 2 equals to minus 1 over 4 x plus 2 into x minus b. Our answer needs to be in terms of b, the coordinate of b. Okay. So 1 over 2 x plus 2 and x plus 2, I can cancel it. Do not make a mistake to expand it. I can easily cancel it out. So 1 over 2, negative 4 minus 1 over 4. So I can write it as 4 over 2 equals 2 minus x minus b. 4 over 2 is 2 equals to minus x minus b. I expand bracket because I have to write the coordinate of p. So let's expand bracket minus x plus b. So find the value of x. So this is b minus 2. So uh, from here, I can find the value of y by substituting it, replacing any one, either in the uh, curve, equation of a curve or equation of a straight line. So I've, let's, let's replace, let's use equation of L1 to find y. So y equals 2, 1 over 2, x is b minus 2 and plus 2. 
I have substituted in L1. Okay, simplified. Min minus two plus two is is uh, zero, so I only b is left over. So y equals to one over two b. So it, this means that the coordinate of p is p minus two and half of b. Okay. This is done. Next is given also that L2 intersects C at point P. Show that another equation for L2. Another equation for L2. Oh, I skipped something. Yeah, I skipped a B part. Let's do the B part first. Uh, given that L2 is perpendicular to L1 and intersects C on the positive axis. Okay, let's look at the diagram. Uh, L2 is perpendicular to L1. So L2 is perpendicular to L1, right? So this is L2 is perpendicular to L1 and uh, intersects C on the positive x axis. For x axis, we know that it is this is B. This is P, and I can write this coordinate as P0. And uh, find in terms of B an equation for L2. Okay, let's first solve for B. L2 passes through, L2 passes through, B0. So, and it is perpendicular to L1. So here from there, I can find the gradient. Uh, for uh, L1, the gradient is 1 over 2. For M, L2, the gradient would be minus 2. So let's form an equation of a straight line. Y minus 0 and negative 2x minus B. And Y equals to minus 2 into x minus B. Expand bracket. Simplify it further. Let's do it here. So y equals to minus 2x plus 2b. This is equation of L2. Equation for L2 here. Right. Let's move. So b part is done. Uh, next is given also that L2 intersects C at point P. Show that an equ another equation for L2. Okay, let's look at the diagram. L2 intersects C at P. So L2 intersects C at P at this point. Okay, so we will use the coordinate of P. And coordinate of P, I just got it here. This is the coordinate of P. Let's form another equation for L2 y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 is the equation of a straight line coordinate of p is b minus 2 is uh, the value of x and 1 over 2 b is the y is for y so 1 over 2 b equals to we know it is perpendicular to l1 so this is minus 2 x minus coordinate of x is b minus 2 so b minus 2 put it in a bracket so we can change the sign later so y minus 1 over 2b minus 2 into x minus b plus 2 now expand bracket minus 2x plus 2b minus 4 okay I have to write down in form of y equals 2. I need to give my answer in this form. So let's collect b together. So y equals 2 minus 2x plus 2b plus 1 over 1 over 2b. Let me rewrite. 
1 over 2b minus 4. So y equals to minus 2x. Now um, solve, collect like terms. 2b plus half of b is 5 over 2b minus 4. This is another equation for L2. This is what I have been asked to show that. Right. In the D part, it says that hence or otherwise find the value of B. So I got two equations for L2. I'm going to equate it simultaneously. Solve these two equations to get the value of B. All right. Let's solve it here. So L2, we have two equations, so solve it simultaneously. Minus 2x plus 5 over 2b minus 4. Find the value of b. So minus 2x here, minus 2x here, both sides, so we can cancel it out. 2b equals to 5 over 2b minus 4. 2b minus 5 over 2b, collect like terms, negative 4. And uh, 2 to the 4, 4 minus 5b is negative b over 2 equals to negative 4. And uh, negative becomes positive and b equals to 8. Find the value of B. So B is 8. This that's it for this question. This was this question was uh, this question number 10 from paper May 2023 at Excel IAL Pure Mathematics P1. I hope you found this solution helpful and feel more confident tackling similar problems. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to AYS Math Channel for more exam tips and math tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.